The Joint Terrorism Task Force Division of the FBI sent two agents out to my house to visit me. I'm a part-time peace activist, a full-time mom of five kids, and a part-time registered nurse. These two agents knocked on my door. They verified their identities with me, and they also verified my identity. At that point, I shut my door, went inside, and grabbed my video camera. This is what followed when I opened my door. Yeah, go ahead and show me your badge again, and tell me your names. Joel Steven. Joe Steven. And where are you from? Here in Austin. Lane Brewster Smith. And you're with who? FBI. FBI. And why are you here? To talk to me? Uh, just talk about some of your activities and just... Uh, and what activities are those? The, the, not exactly the protesting, but okay. what may happen from the protesting. Not the protesting. Now, which, protest. which protest in particular are you talking about? Uh, we had, we don't not sure. That's what we're here to talk to you about. Okay. Well, how did you hear about me? I can't tell you that. It you was can't a call tell in. me. It was a call in. A call in. A call in from who? Can't tell you that. Before. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. So you're with the FBI. You're here knocking on my door. Here, I'm a mother of five kids, and here you are. This young lady here too is knocking on my door. She's with the FBI to question me about a protest. Okay, so so go ahead and start questioning me. Yes, ma'am. Is Thank this you. what we consider? Or... You just want to do it? Uh, yeah, let's do it out here. Okay. Basically, we have nothing about protest. The call in was more concerned about what may happen from the protest. So what may happen from the protest? That's you what tell we're here me. To ask you. We want all we're going to make sure oh, really? is everyone is safe <laughs> okay. and no one gets hurt. That's we don't want anyone for. hurt. We want everyone safe. Yes, ma'am. What a noble cause. Okay. So go ahead and ask away. Are there any plans on any type of activity that would hurt anyone, cause any pain to anyone or destroy any property? You got to be kidding. <laughs> destroy property? Like uh, what kind of property? Any property, private property, government property, any property. Okay, so you're, you're saying that you think me, a mother of five kids, five wonderful kids, a registered nurse here in Austin is going to go destroy property and have her life endangered. This now, we, is incredible. We don't think that at all. We're here to ask you about that. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm so not, you're I'm, asking me if I'm going to destroy property? No. I'm asking you if you know of anything that would be that would destroy property. If I know of an okay, so I'm going to tell you if I know about anybody who's going to destroy property. <laughs> really? I, I'm really confused on this part. Okay. If you just answer the questions, it'll be fine. Yeah. If, okay. You know and what if I plead? What if I plead the right to remain silent? That's what fine. will happen to me? That's fine. Nothing. You'll just leave? Yes, ma'am. Okay, but I'm still curious. Go ahead and ask away. Well, I've asked the question. Do you know of any plans to destroy any property? Um, <laughs> I'm going to plead silence on that. Next question. Okay. That's it. I mean, we, we just want to make sure everybody stays safe. Stay safe. Okay, great. Great. Do you know of any concerns that you would have concerning us being here? Yes, I'm very concerned that I get a knock on my door from the FBI. Very concerned about it, and I think a lot of people will want to hear about this. Do you have any questions for us? Ah, uh, well, who's your next person that you're going to stop to here in Austin or in Texas? I can't tell you that. Maybe. You can't tell me that. If you want our card, this is. I love your card. Okay. Okay. I'm just con I'm confused on on why you won't answer the questions. Concerning the Because I have property. a right to remain silent. Yes, you do. And that's fine. Right. But I, I don't understand all this part of it. You don't understand this part. Well, I think the American people need to know that when they participate in a protest against something legitimate that Again. they feel they can protest against, that they may get a knock on their door from the FBI. So this Again, is something the, the, that we all to need to know. Protest. Nothing to do with okay. protest. Okay, and I suppose what you're saying to me hasn't been altered by the fact that I have a video camera of this. No, I told you that when you answered the door earlier. Excellent. That had nothing to do with protest. Very good. I said you have the right to protest. Okay. 
but you don't have the right to destroy property. You don't have the right to hurt people. Okay, so I really think, and I'm sure a lot of people would think that this woman here would go around destroying property and hurting people it's in a protest. That. It's also just knowing information about if anything like that would happen, not necessarily that you would do it, is if you okay. had information of that happening. Because what our job is, is to try to prevent acts of violence before they occur. Okay. So it's not particularly you, it's if you had any idea of anyone that would do those sorts of things. Okay, very good. Thanks for adding that. Anything else you want to ask me? No ma'am, I, I figured... Should I, should I expect that y'all will be back again? No, after my no, next no, protest? Let you, no, again, it's not on the protest. Okay, it's on do I know of any knowledge of anybody that's going to destroy property Hurt and hurt people. I don't, I don't even okay. know what you protest. I don't, I don't have any idea. Okay. But if it would be very easy for I, you I mean, to I find out. Guess. Just, I can just guess. go. The, the you can guess. The Free Palestine movement. Oh, okay, with the Free Palestine movement. Yes, I and do that, advertise that on my door. And that's just wonderful. by having a flag. Just and by having a flag on my door. Well, and it's I, wonderful. Why is that so wonderful? Protest is what makes this country great. Okay. I mean, it's part of your rights. Okay, thank you very much. I'm just confused on why you wouldn't answer a question about knowing any type of violence that would happen. That can be your mystery to solve. Okay. U.S. tax dollars at work. Okay. Well, I sure appreciate your time. If you need okay. anything, give us a call. If you have any questions, I sure will. Maybe I'll see you at the next protest. You'll have the right to protest, too. Why don't you join in for a just cause for the sake of humanity, human rights, and... Maybe you don't want so many of your tax dollars going to destroy people and stealing their land, do you? Seven million dollars a day is how much money we send to the state of Israel. Seven million dollars a day. So let me ask you what you think about that. I, politically wise, I'm, I'm not, I can't answer my political views. I maybe can't maybe you. off the record we can meet sometime talk about your political views. How about you? Do you think we should be sending seven million dollars a day to Israel so they can steal land, rip up people's olive trees, illegally take land, do you think we should be sending seven million dollars a day? Again, I can't voice my political views. All right, we'll do that off the record. I, I would like off to sit with sometime. you anytime off the record. Well, maybe we will. Okay, it'd be fine. I sure appreciate your time. If you need any questions for us, again, nothing to do with your protesting. It's just we want to know information on what could happen illegally to hurt others. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. I highly question the concept of talking off the record. I have no plans to talk off the record with any special agents, whether they be from FBI, CIA, Homeland Security, or any governmental agency. Occupation is a crime from Iraq to Palestine. 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 From Iraq to Palestine. From Iraq to Palestine. From Iraq to Palestine. Everyone has to do something. Whether you could do it in your hand, do it. If you can join the flotilla, join it. If you can do it with your mouth, speak it. At the least you could do is just in your heart, feel how evil, how, how bad the Israeli actions against the Palestinians. Because they are terrorists, because they are murderers, because they kill at will, they kill without any reasons. They wanted to send a signal to anyone. If you try to break the blockade, we will kill you just as we kill those people. But they are dead wrong. Because when they killed Rachel Corey, we had the flotilla today. And because of those martyrs that have died in the seas, we will have many more flotillas until that blockade is dead.